Hey guys, it's Bear, and before this video starts, I'm gonna apologize for the shitty quality and also that the screen omatic things in the bottom left hand corner. Um, this was not part of the plan, I did not know that was gonna happen. I can't use Camtasia to record Camtasia, so we're just gonna have to deal with it for this video. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Peace out. What is going on, guys? This is Bear, and today I'm bringing you another tutorial, and this is gonna be how to record your speed arts. So uh, the first thing you want to go to do is go in the description and you want to go to the link of a YouTube video and it's going to be how to install and download Camtasia Studio 8 because I doubt you guys are going to want to purchase it but uh, just go and do that. So once you get that done and installed and open everything onto your desktop you're going to open the open the program and I'm using Cam Studio version 8 which is probably the best in my opinion. I don't have any other ones. I used to have 7 but as I said 8 is a lot better. So, it takes a little while to open, but once it's open, you're going to have this uh, this kind of like weird canvas looking thing. And on the top left, you're going to have File, Edit, View, Play, Tools, Help. You're not going to really have to use any of those. What you're going to do is you're going to click the red circle, which is Record the Screen. And this is going to pop up. You can uh, custom fit it so it fits into certain uh, certain areas. You can also go full screen, webcam, uh, audio. So what you would do is you'd open Photoshop. Let's see, I'll show you guys as an example. All right. So you'd open Photoshop and then you'd click the record button and it'd be press F10 to stop the recording. It'd be three, two, one, and then it's recording your whole screen. So what you do next is you go like f new and you'd make a like a black or uh, make your picture and then do whatever. So once you do your whole speed art and get your final images, you're going to go back to this, what's recording, and you're going to hit pause and then stop. And what it does, is it kind of just like creates the whole video that you just did. And if it's longer than 16 seconds, it's going to take longer to process and buffer out. So the next thing you want to do is click this and then say save and edit. Uh, you can save it to your desktop. You can name it whatever. I'll just name it tutorial. And then it's going to open it back up and it's going to ask for your dimensions. So you're going to click 1280 by 720 or whatever else you like. I'm using 1280 by 720 because that's usually the stock YouTube banners and YouTube videos. So you're just going to keep the aspect ratio and click OK. Next thing you want to do is you can either speed it up in this uh, in the software, which I don't do. You're going to next go to produce and share. Go to MP4 only and then click next and then you're just going to save this to whatever click finish and then it's going to render your video and uh, this was doing re relatively quick since it's 16 seconds but um this is going to pop up you're just going to this the sub video is going to pop up as well but you're just going to click finish and close out of Camtasia so next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna have this, and it's gonna be your uh, your file, and this is gonna have your speed art in it. Next, you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to be able to edit it. So what you're gonna have to do is open the editing software. I'm using Adobe CS6. So you open that. Uh. Alright, so this is open. You're just going to let it uh, process. You can use Sony Vegas, uh, Windows Movie Maker, you can use anything for this, but After Effects is the best. So you're just going to double click this, make it open, double click in your project, and then go to your folder that the video is saved in, and double click it open. You're going to drag it into your, uh, your composition, and then as you see, it's the whole, the whole video full length. Next thing you want to do is go to Layer, Time, Time Stretch. And you're going to take the stretch factor and just like bring it tinier. So you can have it for however long you like. So put it to 3 seconds since it's only 16 seconds. And as you see it just makes it makes me do it very quickly. So if you want to add other stuff to it you can watch my other tutorial on how to make a uh, like a, a more intense speed art. Which includes how to like add intros, music, like keyframing and everything. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this easy tutorial. Uh, thanks for 500 subscribers, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.